Any other questions, Brian? Uh, not much. Uh, there, there was some questions that we were talking about. Uh, if anybody's heard, and I think this is to everybody, if anybody's heard about the BLM organizer that was uh, murdered down in New Orleans. So that was very unfortunate and very sad. So I'm not sure if you heard about that, but it happened uh, just a couple of days yeah, ago. I, I, I have heard about that. That is, that is a, 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 a huge, a huge thing to me. I think I mean, I, 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 mourn, I mourn him because, not because of what he, he stands for or the symbolic gesture, is just we've lost so many people to this this system already. And I mean, there, there are report after report about how Nazis infiltrate fucking cops and how uh, 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 neo-Nazis work with police. And it's alarming because it's like, you know, this we've seen this before. We've seen civil rights activists murdered for what they believe. And, and, and like, I mean, um, this kind of racial terrorism is just order of the day. It's par for the course that our, our sacrifice to the machine. And I mean, his death makes me fight harder and it makes me uh, want to fight longer because there's, there's, no other, there's no other response to that. I, I'm enraged that like, a, youth can, a youth with a bright future, a youth leader can be killed. It's just... You know, nothing happens. It's just all oh, it happened. Well, and, and I know that the police will never seek justice for him because of the fact that they collaborate with Nazis. Like, where where is a man like that going to get justice? And I mean, I fight hard because to silence you. This is how they. This is how they try to beat you back in place. And it's just like, you know, some of us have to accept death as you know, the consequence of not being able to be beaten back to place. And it, it's a sad reality. And I feel like this should drive it home to every single person that does this work is that people are, people are sacrificed. And like more of us will be sacrificed until everyone gets activated and, you, and involved. You mentioned how the right ha and the alt-right, the fascists have infiltrated police uh, forces, sheriff's departments, they seem very organized. Do you promote uh, organizing on the left in such a, a obvious way or uh, such a such an organized way? Um, the left could, but the left doesn't. And that's also what's disappointing because it prevents, it prevents, like if the left organized uh, more intensively, uh, uh, then Strategic? it could be a different kind yeah, of, the, the, the rabble rousing, the saber rattling is only cool, right? Uh, but let, let, let's be honest with you. Let me be honest with you. Let's be honest here. These people who are fascists, I know some of them personally because I'm military with these people. They're prepared to commit violence at any time that is necessary to further their goals. In the name of friend or friend or family, they are willing to do that. Liberals are not because it violence has any connotation, they want to be the bigger people. And the right is not concerned about being a bigger person. They're concerned about being effective. Like, and, and, and it's critical. It's critical for us to understand that platitudes will not save us. Fuckers right now in the woods playing Rambo. Okay? And these motherfuckers are ready to kill children. Like, one of, one of, the, one of the, the most uh, uh, renowned uh, acts of white terror where, uh, you know, these anti-Semites go and they kill a Jewish man and then they fucking uh, they, they evade the police for however long they do. That's ridiculous. And they do that shit because they're fucking chained. And now, uh, there's another point. Fucking Dylan Roof. Because I remember this distinctly because I lived in Washington at the time this happened. Dylan Roof goes to the church and shoots nine fucking people. Nine fucking black people. And you know the response that I got in Bremerton when I was, going, when I was coming to liberal ass Seattle? This fucking Nazi wearing a swastika was felt so proud that he would puff his chest out like this in public. Failure. That is a failure of the, the, the moral absolutism of the, the Democrats or the liberals, as they call themselves. You know, and I feel like they, they do not care because they're not the ones that are being murdered. Absolutely. They don't care because they don't care because the people like us it's okay for us to die. We're, it's okay for us to be sacrificed to the system because 
we're not as valuable and, and or or we're just oh we're, we're just poor wretches that people you know deign to save and what's really alarming about all of this is that these people when you tell them how to fucking shoot a gun maybe you should go learn how to do this camping shit that these motherfuckers in the right doing they laugh they laugh and they whether it is this exceptionalistic childish american thinking that i just pick up a gun by the revolution like they did in the past is childish it's childish white supremacists dream about this shit like i remember for the first time i wanted to understand the white supremacists i read the turn diaries i read that book and the one thing that you see primarily in this train of thought is the, the willingness to do anything to by any means necessary i mean Malcolm X is known for that kind of politic. That got Malcolm X, right? They, they, they killed him. And they, they systemically killed our leaders with COINTELPRO time and time again. You know, and, and that doesn't happen to these folks on the right. Well, so, Kamali, oh, so, yes, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I, I hate to stop here. And I, I do want to have you back because I think this is going places uh, that we need to take it. So. Uh, oh yes, I, I'm thank, sorry. I went on rant. I was. I'm very emotional right now. But I think it's just. Please don't apologize. I've been. You know, women are called emotional all the time and disregarded. So I know. I we're allowed to be emotional. Emotion. Emotions are strength. Yes. Emotions uh, are strength. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thank I do. You guys for having me. And I hope to have you back as soon as we can uh, fit, fit it in our schedules. Uh, thank you again. And remember, everybody, uh, follow up on SAFE, support uh, our co building community, and uh, be strategic in your planning. And we will have more on this uh, another time. Thank you so much. And uh, Rhonda? Hey, hey, be before I you, appreciate hey, everybody, before oh. you get rid of, of, oh. of Kamala here, I just want to say... Uh, yes. Thank you. I, I, I want to have you on a different program and and uh, and talk more about this in specific because that was just I was really I, I lost track of stuff. I was impassioned by what you were saying. So thank you, sir. I, I appreciate you guys giving me a platform and hearing me out. I, I continue the work. I support it. and I'll be on as many times as you need me. We really, really appreciate it uh, awesome. and look forward to getting uh, this out as much as we can. Uh, thank you again so very much. All right. Hooroo, comrades. Power to the people.